By the weekend, several Minnesota rivers are expected to reach dangerously high levels. Some might even break records. Predicting if and when that could happen is complicated. How do you forecast flooding? Good question. Jeff Wagner shows us the tools used to measure rising rivers. Harriet Island Park in St. Paul better resembles Lake Harriet at the moment as the Mississippi River swells past its banks more and more each day. Our forecast has it rising to 20.5 feet, which is well above the major flood threshold of 17 feet. Sean Devinney is a senior meteorologist with the National Weather Service. What can make that 20 and a half foot prediction change? Certainly, uh, how much rainfall we get between now and then could impact it. We interviewed him Monday before more rainfall at night boosted that prediction closer to 21 feet. How do you forecast flooding? It's quite a process that includes observational data, analysis of how much rain has fallen, or in the winter, how much snow is on the ground and how much of that is going to melt and the liquid be moving through the system. Meteorologists analyze upcoming precipitation, how much will fall and where it lands. They also take into account whether the soil is dry or saturated, which right now is the latter given our extremely wet spring. Between all those things, we're able to kind of predict the flow of how much water is going to be flowing through the river at these places and then kind of convert that to a height that impacts the average person, like how high is the river going to get? Then tools help them measure exactly how high the water gets, like this river gauge along the Crow River. It sends a beam down toward the water to calculate the height. There's also another type that is at that same location called a, a bubbler, which is like it's a line underneath the ground inserted under the middle of the river channel, and it uses pressure to tell how much water is above it. How important is it to have such an accurate forecast? I mean, it's extremely important. That's a lot of the cities and the counties are making decisions on roads to possibly close, places to block off. Forecasting also helps communities get a jump start on filling sandbags, building flood walls, and evacuating buildings. What's easier to predict, a flood stage or that storm coming a day or two away? I've done both, and they're both incredibly difficult to predict. I'm not going to say one's easier than another, really. It's just they're very, very complicated, and predicting the future is never easy, I think, no matter what you're trying to do. With photojournalist Nick Luneman, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. A similar to forecasting storms, Davini did say that forecasting the height where a river will crest does get easier and more accurate the closer you actually get to that date.